Next week, California will have a very bad day. Or at least that's the way Hollywood will make it look. San Andreas is all about the big one. 9.0 earthquake striking California. But surprisingly, hardly any of San Andreas was actually shot in California. Star Dwayne Johnson and crew shot the disaster epic in Australia instead. The term runaway production has been a bugaboo for this industry for years and years and years. Action! What Hollywood is running to, says producer David Lancaster, is any place that can get the most bang for its movie-making buck. Economics are critical. Any edge you can get, whether it's a 5, 10, 20 percent tax credit, you're going to chase it. Nearly 40 states now offer some kind of tax break, rebate, or grant to entice Hollywood to shoot somewhere else. Since its peak in 1996, location feature filming in and around Los Angeles has plummeted by 50 percent. Take two. For those behind the cameras, like video assist engineer David Goldsmith, that has put a tarnish on Tinseltown. We are a huge destination for tourism. I mean, it's, it's Hollywood. Um, but we're not as busy as we used to be. And, and that's, that's a big problem. This is Cecil B. DeMille in Hollywood, California. Hollywood was once synonymous with movie-making magic. That's Cleopatra's coronation robe. React to that. Let me see it in your faces. Let me hear it in your voices. The gasps of, oh, ah, and so forth. Like Detroit with its auto industry, LA's film factories gave Hollywood its identity. Coco, over your left shoulder. And while Hollywood will likely always remain the center of movie glitz and glamour, it's the workforce that LA's mayor is worried about. We are seeing these good middle class jobs go off to Louisiana and to Georgia and Canada, North Carolina. We're talking billions of dollars that would have been spent in California that was not there. We're talking about tens of thousands of jobs. Hey, hey Nick, how are you? Hey, Pleasure. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Nick, Ever since taking you? office two years ago, hey, man, how are you? Mayor Eric Garcetti has vowed to make Hollywood at least nice more competitive. Thank you for shooting in LA. I appreciate it very much. Action rehearsal. He's helped push through a new $330 million filming incentive package it will triple the tax breaks available for movies like this one, Message from the King. This is a show business. The show is nice, but you have to be smart about the business, too. Especially when you consider the recent success of the other L.A., Louisiana. Pitch Perfect 2, released just this weekend, was shot in the Bayou State, as were two other blockbuster sequels, Jurassic World and Terminator Genesis. Cut. That was really good. In fact, there have been so many feature films shot in Louisiana, it's earned the nickname Hollywood South. Give us a little bit of room, block and rehearsal. Here we go. Louisiana first rolled out its tax credit red carpet back in 2002, offering to cover up to 35% of a film's local costs. That means when Warner Brothers spent around $120 million shooting Green Lantern in Louisiana, the studio got back almost $37 million. That's more than the state allocated to the University of New Orleans last year. Do you think it, the program is worth it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, when you see what this industry and what this incentive has brought here, it's absolutely worth it. And this is the small sound stage? This is a smaller. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too good with square footage, but... Uh, we met Chris Stelly, who heads up Louisiana's film office at Celtic Studios outside Baton Rouge, where they recently finished shooting another superhero film, The Fantastic Four. I mean, we do over 100 projects annually, so we're doing something right. Cut! Independent filmmakers love Louisiana, too. And it's Shirley! Take Showing Roots, shot in Plaquemine, Louisiana. Producer Michael Mailer. You know, it's just, from an economic standpoint, why would a producer shoot their movie in L.A. if, if they can't get subsidies for it? While the tax credit clearly helps his film's bottom line, he says it also boosts the local economy. You know, these are mini economic zones, like 
I mean, how many people are you employing here? Easily 100 uh, on certain days, more. But critics aren't impressed. Every independent study of the film program has shown that it returns pennies on the dollar. Jan Moeller is director of the Louisiana Budget Project, a watchdog group that claims rewarding the film industry has cost the state dearly. Any way you do the math, this program doesn't come close to paying for itself. So what we're doing, in effect, is paying movie productions to come and shoot in Louisiana. So is there any economic benefit to this in your, in your view? Uh, well, sure, there's an economic benefit for the people in the film industry. In a state with an estimated $1.6 billion budget shortfall, those are public dollars, he says, not being spent on basic necessities. Nobody's saying it has to make money for state government. That's not the purpose of having a film industry. But I think there is an argument that we shouldn't be spending money in perpetuity to keep this industry here. Many Louisiana legislators agree. Last month, several proposals were put forward to cap the amount of money the state spends on film credits. But some worry about limiting the program too much. Take North Carolina. It played host to the film The Hunger Games. Its tax credits used to be among the most generous. But worried that it was costing the state too much, North Carolina abandoned the program. Hunger Games 2 and 3 were shot in Georgia. The test for California's expanded tax credit is to see whether it actually translates into more jobs or just subsidizes films that would have been made in Hollywood anyway. Focus looks good, Larry. Looks good. For workers like David Goldsmith, it at least gives California a fighting chance to keep the state's homegrown industry at home. I mean, this is a job creating machine, and we manufacture something, and that's what California needs. We need a manufacturing business. And film industry absolutely is that. 